Syria is, without any doubt, the biggest threat to peace and security in the world today. Uh, what is happening now uh, in the ground with this story about the outrageous alleged use of chemical weapons, with the destruction of the country that has been taking place for two years, with the spread of the problem outside of Syria through the flow of refugees and also the involvement of neighboring countries in one way or another in the conflict, uh, it is indeed now the biggest threat to peace and security. What has happened, this story, this allegation that uh, chemical weapons have been used uh, a few kilometers from the heart of Damascus, uh, as a matter of fact, emphasizes the importance of this crisis and the danger it represents, not only for the Syrian people, not only for the region, but the world. We could say that the international community is now uh, close enough to an agreement that a political solution is the only way. Uh, the parties are not there yet. Uh, but I think that they, you know, they, the, the political solution was rejected outright by the parties. Both sides were saying no. You know, I mean, the government was saying we are fighting terrorism, and that's all. And the the the, the, the opposition were saying we have a, a, a very unjust, cruel, uh, oppressive regime. We want to get rid of it, and we can and we shall. Uh, now both speak of the possibility of a, a, a political solution. The Americans and the Russians are meeting at the end of the month, on the 28th. Uh, we are discussing with them the possibility of another meeting, tripartite meeting, Americans, Russians, and the United Nations. And then the General Assembly is taking place where there is no doubt that Syria will be discussed left, right, and center. Uh, earlier than that, on the 6th, 5th and 6th of September, the G20 are meeting in St. Petersburg, and there is no doubt that Syria will be one of the issues that will be discussed, although this is supposed an economic summit.